Hi everyone, it's Ellie and welcome to this full moon reading. So we're going to take a look at the collective messages first. Then we go to per sign, all right? So let's begin. Thank you so much, my spirits, angels, and guides. Please guide me towards the clear messages for my zodiacs for this full moon read. Please show me the cards that I need to see and please show me the messages clearly. All right. We're going to do things a little bit differently. So for the collective, we're going to do a Celtic cross spread. Then for Zodiac, I'm going to pull out three cards and three, three clarifiers, all right? So, okay. Okay, so what is the present situation of my collective? What's the present situation of the collective? Alright, you have the sun. Alright. What is the challenge? The lovers. Mm hmm. What is the what what was in the past? What's in the past? Alright. The moon. What's in the future? The star. Wow, okay. Sun, moon, and star. All right, sun, moon, and star. Okay, what are, the, your, what are your aspirations? What is the collective's aspirations? The king, the knight of pentacles, all right? Let's see, let's adjust it a little bit. And then what is influencing you? What is influencing you? That popped out, all right? So you have the three of pentacles. Should I adjust it a little more? All right. Okay. Then you have what is influencing you? All right, what is influencing you? What are what's in the external environment? All right. And what is your hope and your fear? What is the outcome? What is the outcome? Wow. I love your outcome. All right. All right, collective. So what is the heart of the matter here the heart of the matter here is the sun so there's a lot of happiness i mean seeing a lot of happiness a lot of growth a lot of abundance all right there's very positive um attraction here and there is expansion in the relationship there is expansion in the relationship but i'm hearing Hmm. But I'm hearing you are wanting something more, all right? Or you are being for some reason the sun does not uh does not mean that way, all right? When you go to the original uh, meaning of the tarot cards, the sun does not what I'm about to say is it it's not there. It it does not the sun does not mean that way, all right? But this is what I'm the downloads, all right? So I'm hearing that although you are so happy right now, 
although you are so happy right now with your person, all right, you are both so happy, you want something more, all right? And you want it, you want that something more at your timing, at your own timing. So there is some sort of impatience there of getting to the next level of the relationship, all right? getting to the next level of the relationship so what is the challenge here is the lover's card so i'm hearing you communicated this to your partner i'm hearing that um, you're making too many plans or the plans are too long term all right and there is some sort of impatience here and there is some sort of assertiveness all right Please don't shoot the messenger when I say this. This is something that I am really downloading right now from Spirit, all right? So the Lover's card as your challenge, it's supposed to be a really good card, especially when it comes to a love reading. But as a challenge, I'm hearing your partner kind of detached to you, all right? I'm hearing your partner kind of detached right now you or your partner take it how it resonates you can flip the energies if you need to all right so i'm hearing your partner really detaching right now why and there is imbalance in the relationship why because maybe things are going at too fast from how they planned all right Maybe they just want to be present. One of you just want to be present in the moment, all right? So that is a challenge here. You need balance for this in this relationship. You need balance for this relationship to succeed, all right? No one has to take charge of the relationship. That is what I'm hearing. No one has to take control. Do not take control. Don't be too controlling, all right? What is in the past, all right? The moon, I'm hearing there are a lot of fears, all right? I'm hearing there are a lot of fears. Maybe they fear that this is going too fast for you or the plans are too long-term for them or you, that they fear that it might not work out the way that you plan, all right? It might not work out the way that they plan or you have planned, all right? So there is, there's a fear of like uncertainty in the relationship because of too many plans or too many things, too many things going on at the same time, all right? Um, and I'm hearing to the point that there is kind of like anxiety. There is anxiety here, all right? Please don't shoot the messenger when I say it. I know it's a little bit, for some reason, it's a little bit vague. But um, yeah, that is what I'm getting right now. All right. And I'm hearing this is something that your partner is, you or your partner is currently keeping. All right. Um, there is just too much pressure right now with regard to going to a higher level of commitment at this time. All right, so they ha that is one of their fears, and I'm hearing they're actually still hiding. For some, they are actually still hiding that fear. All right, so what is in the future? The future is the star. All right, there could be an, a, an epiphany moment. All right, there's going to be an epiphany moment for the both of you. Um, I'm hearing. A wish is going to be granted all right so I'm hearing you will get that commitment that you want you just have to you know take things slow you have to take things slow what what is what is something that you are aspiring for collective you're aspiring for this person to take action to finally take action to give or to offer that solid and stable commitment that you've always been wanting all right but as you see this is the knight of pentacles the knight of pentacles takes takes things slowly why because they really thought about it this is the knight of pentacles they are slow because they think about it before they act upon it all right there's going to be action there is going to be action but it's going to be a little bit slower than how you want it to be all right what is influencing you why are you so pressured 
to to have this commitment or to have this next level of commitment all right i'm hearing your community people around you influencing you wanting you to get married for some reason wanting you um i'm hearing for some of you not it won't resonate for everyone but everyone around you is getting married all right you're being pressured to get married as well all right okay so let's see what is what is influencing you what is influencing you so you have the king of swords okay so the king of swords here it just means that um the plans that you have for the for your relationship are just too long term if you're thinking like the next five to ten years for this relationship i'm hearing your person is not that i'm hearing your person is someone who just wants to be present at the moment who wants to enjoy the moment there's nothing wrong with planning please don't get me wrong i am actually a planner i'm someone who really plans things but this is not just you you're talking about all right collective this is not just you you're talking about you're actually you're actually with someone in this journey all right in this relationship in this journey so maybe find middle ground on how you should be planning for your relationship all right so what are the what is the external environment what is the environment all right the queen of wands i'm hearing i'm hearing there is kind of a mother figure probably on your side or your person's side who's really influencing you who's really pressuring you who's really very assertive regarding the commitment regarding this relationship please take it how it resonates all right but a mother figure a mother figure who is to a point where she pushes you too much well male female not really gender specific all right but kind of i'm hearing kind of like a mother figure in the home really pushing you really pushing you to to either have that commitment or be sure that this is the one for you all right or i don't know i'm just getting a lot of downloads right now so this person here really pressuring you very assertive very assertive aggressive to a point of being aggressive all right I don't know if, if this is someone who is a higher member of the family, maybe a parent, a grandparent, all right? But this is your relationship, all right? This is you and your person's relationship. They are people who are influencing you, but they cannot take control of your relationship. That's what I have to say there. So what are the hopes and the fears? The hopes and the fears here is the Four of Cups. So you fear that it can be disappointing it can be disappointing because it might not go as you planned okay it might not go as you planned but i'm hearing the, the hope here is that it goes as planned all right that the universe steps in and your person finally makes that offer all right your person finally makes that offer Okay, what is the outcome of the situation? You have the Nine of Cups. A wish granted. A lot of happiness, all right? I love it. I love your outcome, collective. A lot of happiness involved, okay? So don't worry, all right? Be patient. What I'm hearing is be patient. Things will... What is meant for you will never pass you by, all right? And I'm hearing this person... This person of yours the person yours uh, your person you have a very deep soul bond with your person all right what is meant for you will never pass you by so if this relationship was really meant for you all right it will unfold naturally it will unfold naturally all right your wish is getting granted a lot of happiness a lot of love here all right 
So that's it. I hope something in the reading resonated. So let's go to um, per sign, all right? Let's go per sign. All right, let's go to Aries. What is coming towards you for this full moon? Just three cards, all right? Just three cards. All right. What is being revealed to you? What is being illuminated? What is being revealed to you, all right? You have the judgment card, so second chances. Right, there's a possibility of second chances here, someone coming back towards you. All right, asking for a second chance. What do you need to release? All right, what do you need to release right now? The Fool, and then you have the Ace of Wands. All right, let's clarify it a little bit more. Sorry, let's clarify it a little bit more. You have the Page of Swords, all right. What do you need to release? Uh, okay. All right, what is transforming for you? What is ready to emerge? weird very weird download all right for the full card so let's um let's see first for the judgment card this is being illuminated right now this is being revealed i'm hearing someone has been looking at you for quite some time now for the last few days and weeks all right um this is an ex emerging back this is an ex wanting to come back um Ju the judgment card is about a card of second chances all right so i'm hearing this person is really looking whether or not you are now in a relationship or you've moved on or if they still have a chance to come and talk to you and approach to and approach you all right for me the page of swords are people with no backbones <laughs> for some reason why because they're just you know they're just gonna look and they're gonna see they're gonna communicate but they don't really take action on it all right for me people who take action are more of the knights all right so but let's see let's see they can you know they can have that energy first but then move up to a knight so uh take it how it resonates let's see how it progresses all right what do you need to release right now the fool Okay, Aries, the Fool, and then the Queen of Pentacles. All right, I'm hearing you are really, really looking for a brand new beginning, all right? You're really looking for a brand new beginning, and you know, you want to show the world that you've really moved on from this situation. You want to show the world how much of a queen you are, that you're really working, you've really worked on yourself, that you've really worked on your money, your stability, all right? And now, because of that, very funny, I mean, the downloads are very funny. You've worked on yourself for the reason that you want to attract someone better, all right? You're very attractive, Aries. You're actually very attractive. You're very much in your zone, but very much your energy, very attractive, very magnetic, very grounded. You're actually already so stable. But why do you feel that way i'm not sure so spirit is telling you to let go of that to let go of that thought all right if you want a brand new beginning go ahead but don't lose yourself along the way all right okay what is transforming for you the ace of wands and then the magician all right so this new excitement coming towards you this 
something that uh, what's about to emerge for you is the ace of wands so i'm hearing that there is new excitement coming towards you could be a passion project could be someone who's passionate towards you could be something creative that you want to do from for the longest time all right this is something that you've really manifested along the way this is something that you realize that this is something that you want and then you manifest it all right there's a lot of proactiveness here i'm hearing there is a lot of proactiveness here all right aries so have a great um full moon okay so let's move on to taurus taurus what is coming towards my taurus taurus babies oh i'm gonna shuffle no no okay fine all right so what is revealing to you the temperance what's being illuminated to you the temperance and then you what do you have to release all right what is emerging what is transforming all right, you have the King of Swords. Let's put some clarifiers, all right? All right, let's see. Sorry. I keep on adjusting, you know, because in the frame... <laughs> I realize a lot of my readings, the cards are out of frame. So I apologize for that. I'm still adjusting to it. Okay, so what is being revealed to you? The temperance and then the star, all right? You're very divinely guided at this time for some reason. I'm, I'm hearing a lot of angels are coming, are around you. A lot of your angels are surrounding you, all right? So you're gaining a lot of balance, a lot, a lot of clarity, all right? um you're patiently healing from a situation that has really hurt you in the past all right um yeah so you're patiently patiently healing from a situation you know what's weird in the collective message this was the order of the celtic cross the the moon the sun and then the star all right so yeah there's a lot of healing here there's a lot of healing i'm hearing you have to be a little bit you have to take things in moderation all right um if you find someone or if you are in a relationship with someone and uh there was kind of a rift for some reason there's healing there is a potential of healing, all right, the situation. But I'm hearing you have to take things in moderation. You have to take things slowly. You have to hold back a little bit and see if this, um, if your person would approach, take a step towards you, all right? What, what do you have to let go of, all right? I'm hearing you have been silent with your specific person. For the last two weeks two days all right there's a lot of twos here this is the this is a major arcana this major arcana is number two and there are two people here so yeah that's why i said two but i'm hearing man you have been silent towards your person all right I'm hearing you're ignoring the messages, you're not taking the calls, all right? I, I think you have to, for you to heal this. There's a possibility of healing this, all right? You just have to communicate with your person. What is transforming? What is emerging, all right? Um, transforming. Transforming. 
I'm hearing this person, your person, male, female, not really gender specific. But the energy here is your person is now making a lot more long-term plans with you. Is, you know, is being logical. Using a lot of logic, alright? Um, yeah. Alright. I'm hearing you're gonna take things slow. I'm hearing you're gonna take things slow. Um, yeah, you're going to plan more. You're gonna plan a little bit more than the usual planning that you've had. I'm hearing one of you is a planner, like a really, really heavy planner, all right? But I'm hearing you're gonna take things a little bit slowly. Small steps, small steps, very small steps but very solid steps, very stable steps. All right, that is all I have for you, Taurus. So let's see, what do I have, what do we have for Gemini? What do we have for Gemini? What is being revealed? All right, illuminated. Huh. What do you have to let go of? What is transforming? All right, okay. very clear very clear all right very clear indeed all right gemini what is being revealed to you at this time what is being illuminated you're actually very defensive at this time all right i think you're slowly realize la 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 sorry i think you're slowly realizing how attractive you are how beautiful you are how magnetic you are all right and I'm sl I think you're slowly realizing that you're so defensive about things because someone has caused you to be very defensive, all right? So this Knight of Wands was really in and out of your life, someone very transient, all right? Um, this has made you question a lot of, a lot of your self-worth. Which is, which is kind of painful. It's actually painful. I'm here. I'm. I'm really feeling it. It's actually painful to question your confidence if when you're conf when you've been brought down to your knees by someone. All right. So that is being illuminated to you now. You're slowly realizing that you, you are worth a lot more than how this person treated you. All right, what are you letting go of? The Knight of Swords and then the Five of Pentacles. This is someone who, yes, as I said, was hot and cold towards you, all right? In and out of your life. Someone who comes in very fast, someone who comes in very hot. But then, comes, uh, I mean, moves out of your life that quick as well very in and out of your life this person has really isol made you feel isolated really left you out in the cold all right so this is someone you are finally letting, letting go of all right gemini and then what is the transformation here new beginnings new beginnings very much in your energy all right the lover's card is your major arcana here you could be dealing with an aries but not really necessary or you could have those placements all right you have to get ready for this. This new beginning is gonna come in. And I'm hearing it's a really, really good time for you. 
a really really good new beginning for you all right gemini so i love you all let's move on to who's next leo let's move on to what happened let's move on to leo no cancer sorry i'm sorry what's up for my cancerians what's up for my cancerians what is being revealed to you the full card being revealed to you what are you letting go of and then what is transforming very much in your energy all right just a clarifier Okay, Cancer. What is being revealed to you? What is being illuminated to you? You have the Fool. Alright? So, new beginnings. You're ready to jump to that new beginning. Into that new beginning. Alright? This is a big decision for you. It could involve a lot of tra uh, some travel. There could be some travel involved. Or, yeah, there could be, you know going to a different country a different state a different city a different province you know a different town but there could be travel involved all right there this is a big decision for you this is a big decision for you so all right take it how it resonates but yes there are new beginnings for you there really are new beginnings for you what are you letting go of the king of pentacles and um, clarified by the star, all right? You're finally healing from someone who's really hurt you in the past. This is someone who might have been too focused on their money, their work, their ambitions, all right? Their financial stability, all right? You are finally healing from this situation, Cancer. You're finally healing from this situation, and now you are ready to let go congratulations you're finally ready to let go what is transforming what is ready to emerge all right the moon clarified by the three of cups all right i'm hearing you're finally embracing your fears you're finally embracing your fears and you know what you have your soul tribe to really support you on this all right so that's all i have for you cancer i love you all so let's move on to leo let's move on to leo let's move on to leo Leo, very much in your energy, all right? What is revealing to you? What is being illuminated? The Six of Wands, all right? What are you letting go of? The Five of Wands. And what is transforming for you? The King of Wands, all right? Hmm. What is emerging? The King of Wands. 
So you have the Six of Swords here as your clarifier. All right. All right. All right. All right. So what is being illuminated here what is revealing for revealing to you you have the six of wands with your six of swords as a clarifier i'm hearing you made a good decision about moving on from someone you made a good decision about moving on from someone all right this was something that really hurt you in the past this was very turbulent for you and now you've moved to calmer shores all right it's very victorious for you there were a lot there are a lot of opportunities that are going to be illuminated for you that are revealing for you because you left the situation all right i'm hearing you've left all the bad uh the bad things the bad bag the heavy baggage all right you moved on and moving on has made you focus on other things it's going to be a very victorious time for you leo very victorious a lot of success coming towards you you don't need to chase it it's coming towards you all right what are you letting go of the five of wands to the clarified by the chariot all right i'm hearing you're letting go of someone who has made you feel that you had to compete for their attention. You don't need to compete for your for anyone's attention. All right, Leo? Always remember that. You're moving forward. You've decided to move forward without this person, all right? You know your worth. You know your worth very much, all right? And you actually, I'm hearing... I'm hearing you were reminded of your real worth all right so you have the king of wands here to the ten of swords what is emerging what is transforming i'm hearing someone's coming towards you someone who is a king all right someone very exciting someone very passionate and sensual all right this could be someone who has recently left a painful situation all right but take it how it resonates but yes this this is someone coming towards you a king a king oh my all right so i love you all leo i hope you have a great um lunar month let's move on to virgo what is coming towards my dear virgo Okay, Virgo, what is revealing to you? You have the Three of Swords. All right. What do you have to let go of? The Ace of Pentacles. And what is transforming for you? The Ten of Pentacles. All right. You have the Three of Pentacles. Okay. That was that actually flipped. So you have two cards. All right. What is revealing to you? I hate to say it. I hate to say it this way, all right. But I'm hearing there is a third party situation here. Virgo someone cannot commit to you or you cannot commit to someone you are legally or your person is legally bound to someone else all right and it's really causing you a lot of pain it's really causing you a lot of pain so this it's really going to cause you a lot of pain i'm hearing so you're going to you're going to huh huh what okay um you're going to find out 
that your person or your person is going to find out that one of the one one of you is legally bound to someone else all right and it's going to cause a lot of pain i'm sorry i just you know i just saw something very weird which was a scene for some reason anyway it was a scene playing in my head anyway what is what are you about to release the ace of pentacles to the seven of cups all right I'm hearing this person actually wanted to give you an offer, but it wasn't solid enough for you, all right? It wasn't solid enough for you. I'm hearing this person confused you a lot. Your person confused you a lot. All right? You have no idea where you stood in the relationship, really, or how you knew that you had doubts on how strong the foundation was in your relationship, all right? So, yeah, you are letting go of this, of this offer, all right? You are letting go of this offer. What is transforming for you? what is um, about to emerge the ten of pentacles to the king of swords all right someone coming towards you someone out there is better all right way better all right someone who wants to have long term with you long term relationship long term stable relationship with lots of kids and a dog <laughs> and a pet all right this is someone who really plans ahead all right this is someone who really plans ahead. Or if you are the planner here, this is someone who would want to plan for you, with you, all right? Wants to plan with you, all right? So, okay, Virgo, I love you all. And thank you for watching this reading. Let's move on to Libra. What's up with my dear Libra? <clears throat> Okay, Libra, what is up? Those are three cards, all right. You have the Knight of Wands. Whoa, okay. <laughs> all right. You have the Knight of Wands, the Strength card, and then the Knight of Cups, all right? To clarify, all right, let's see, okay, what is emerging, what is being illuminated for you, Libra, what is revealing for you? You have the Knight of Wands, clarif clarified, clarified by the Two of Swords, all right? So, I'm hearing someone has kept you stuck at a de decision, at a, for, uh, at a decision that you had to make, all right? I'm hearing this person was kind of in and out of your life, really made you confused where you stood in the relationship, all right? This person has made you feel super anxious and made you overthink a lot in the relationship, all right? And this is something you finally realize that this play this person is a player. Yes. I'm I'm seeing a bunny, like a bunny, so like the logo of Playboy magazine, bunny. So this person was a player. And this is something you just realize now. And it's fine. It's fine. All right. Okay. What are you releasing right now? You're releasing all this disappointment. You are letting go of all the disappointment. The sadness. All right. I'm hearing. It took a lot of courage and strength for you to face the fear of letting go of this Knight of Wands.
Wow. Okay. That was painful. I I'm hearing you love this person very much. All right? And rather than taking revenge on this person, I'm I'm feeling you're just going to be empathic and compassionate towards this person. And you're just gonna break it to them gently. Why did that why did I suddenly hear that song? Break break it to me gently. Break it to me gently. Alright. Well you're you're gonna break up with this person, but you're gonna do it gently. Alright. So what is transforming for you? The Knight of Cups to the death and rebirth, alright. So, yes, someone coming towards you, someone taking action, could be a water sign, could have water placements in their chart, but I'm hearing this person has a lot of love for you, has been watching you in the sidelines, on the sidelines, all right? This person has a lot of love for you, and they are going to immediately take this chance after your breakup with the knight of wands they are going to take this opportunity and they are not going to going to miss this opportunity this time around i'm hearing they're not going to miss this opportunity this time around wow well, libra wow anyway i hope something in the reading resonated i love you i love you all all right let's go to scorpio What is being illuminated? What are you letting go of? And then what is transforming? Wow, okay. To clarify, okay. Scorpio. This is nice. This is actually nice. All right. So you have the Nine of Pentacles to the Knight of Wands. What is being illuminated right now for the full moon or what is revealing? All right. I'm hearing you made the right decision of leaving this Knight of Wands. This person who was transient in your life, someone who is strongly a player. All right. You'd rather be on your own. You'd rather focus on yourself, focus on your money, focus on your stability, all right? This is pre-empress mode. People are noticing you. I'm, you're going to see it. You know, you're going to see it. People are going to notice you. But I'm hearing you are focusing on yourself. You're focusing on yourself. You're too focused on yourself that you don't really care or you don't really um mind if other people are you know if you're turning heads it's not really on your top priority list for some reason that's what i'm hearing for some reason that is what i'm hearing all right so what are you releasing what are you letting go all right you're finally moving on to calmer shores you're letting go of someone who has really hurt you in the past all right your ex let's just say it you're letting go of your ex. You're moving on from your ex, finally. Finally. All right? Um, you're moving on to calmer shores. This was bound to happen, all right? This was bound to happen. Why? What's transforming for you is a Ten of Pentacles to the Tower. All right? This is going to come as a surprise for you, but someone is going to plan and come towards you, all right? This is someone who wants long-term stability. Although there are no court cards here, the Ten of Pentacles here is forming a family, a long-term 
relationship, a long-term and stable relationship with lots of kids and a dog. I keep on saying that for the last two signs, all right? With lots of kids and a dog, a lot of money, a very stable home, all right? Um, yeah. This is going to come in as a shock, as a surprise for you, all right? This is nice. That's nice, Scorpio. I love you all. Thank you so much and stay blessed. Okay, let's move on to Sagittarius. Let's move on to Sag. What is coming towards my dear Sagittarians? Alright, what is being revealed to you? What is being illuminated for you? Okay. The King of Swords. Alright, and then you have, what are you letting go of? The Lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini, alright? Strong Gemini energy. Or you have might have those placements. Alright, what is transforming for you? The Knight of Wands. Just to clarify, the King of Swords there. Ten of Swords. The Wheel of Fortune, and then the Three of Wands. All right. What is revealing to you? What is being illuminated for you? All right. Hmm. Weird. All right. If you could notice these two people they're turned away from each other right so i'm hearing this has been long planned or long really thought of for the longest time that there is a separation coming towards you this is either you or your person you're gonna cut through cut out the bs in your life i'm hearing this is you you're going to cut out the bs in your life which is apparently your person all right which is apparently your person um this has been a very long and painful cycle between the two of you but finally you decide that it's time it's time to let go all right you've thought things clearly you've really weighed your options your pro not options your pros and cons in this relationship all right you actually made a list about it weird you actually made a list about it there's a lot of thought that you've put into this decision all right and i'm hearing you are walking away all right you are walking away all right what are you letting go of as i said the lover's card you're letting go of this soul deep soul connection this is something fated this is something fated, all right? And this separation is something that would change your luck, your hand in luck, all right? I'm not saying that your person is the unluckiest person on the planet being with you or you're, you're unlucky being with this person, all right? But things are just going to be a little bit lighter, all right? So... You could feel a lot more luck coming your way. What is being transformed here? What is what is about to emerge? Someone who's going to bring you a lot of excitement, all right? But be careful. Be careful, all right? Um, be careful if this person would want to commit to you, all right? I'm not saying this person is not going to commit to you, but be careful about whether or not you're going to give all your energy and love and time to someone who will not who might not, all right? You have to You have to assess first whether or not you have the same goals with this person, all right? All right. I'm hearing someone with fire placements, all right? So, take it how it resonates. 
Thank you, Sag. Let's move on to Capricorn. What is coming towards my beautiful Capricorns? Capricorns. Okay, what is being illuminated? What is being revealed to you? The Page of Wands, all right? And then you have, what do you have to let go of? The Page of Pentacles, all right? And then, what is transforming for you? All right. Okay. All right. What is revealing for what is revealing to you? What is being illuminated for you? New excitement, all right. I'm hearing you someone who might be a little bit younger than you or younger at heart is really eyeing on you, all right? And wants to offer you something passionate, something exciting, all right? This is going to come very fast all right a lot of passionate exchanges of messages phone calls you know a lot of communication all right that is being revealed to you this is someone who's been liking you for the longest time all right what do you need to release this page of pentacles this page of pentacles who can't give you actually a really solid offer all right who could who offers things that are very inadequate actually this person has made you feel that you had to compete for their attention. Why? They can't even offer you anything uh, stable. But anyway. Yeah. You're letting go of this person. Okay. What is uh, transforming? What is emerging? All right, the two of swords to the three of cups. I'm hearing you are actually undecided you're actually decided to let go of that person but the people around you the people around you are making you rethink your decision all right making you rethink your decision that's giving you a lot of anxiety okay so that is all that i have for you capricorn i hope something in the reading resonated comment down below if it did all right so let's see last two aquarius aquarius what is up aquarius what is up aquarius oh What is up, Aquarius? All right. What is being revealed to you? What is what do you have to release or let go? And then what is transforming? All right. Hmm. All right. Okay, Aries. You could have an Aries placement. I'm sorry, Aquarius. All right, you have the seven of, 
what is being revealed to you what is being illuminated to you you have the seven of cups to the nine of cups all right there's no more confusion there's no more confusion here that is what's being revealed there's a lot of clarity here there's a lot of you know um there's no more confusion here there's no more confusion all right um There's a lot of happiness coming towards you. A wish granted, a lot of happiness. A wish granted that's going to give you a lot of happiness, all right? Which is really nice. I love it. I love it, all right? Then, what are you letting go of? The High Priestess to the Seven of Wands, all right? The High Priestess, you're letting go of being silent all right you're letting go of being silent okay and you have the seven of wands here if you could see there's a bubble there you're actually in your bubble you've been silent for like the seven the lot with a person all right not not to not with everybody but with a person you've been silent with the person for the last two two to seven weeks that's a long time all right finally there's communication coming in all right i'm hearing you're now ready to listen you're now ready to listen and when you listen that's when you get that clarity that clarity there all right what is transforming for you you have the king of pentacles to the nine of wands all right I'm hearing I'm hearing you're no longer going to be defensive, all right? You're just going to focus on your work a lot more, focus on your stability, all right? Um you're no longer going to be defensive about the situation that you are in, this relationship or situationship that you are in. I'm hearing this person has really wounded you in the past, but now because you know there's a lot of clarity, you decide to you'd rather focus on work right now. Okay. All right. Thank you so much Aquarius. I hope something in the reading resonated. Let's move on to finally Pisces. All right. Pisces. What is up my dear Pisceans? coming towards you Okay, what is revealing to you or what is being illuminated for you? The Hermit card. What are you letting go of? The Queen of Pentacles. And then what is emerging? What is transforming? The King of Swords. Just to clarify, you have the Page of Pentacles. The High Priestess, and then the Five of Cups. All right. What is being revealed to you? The Hermit to the Page of Pentacles. Could be dealing with a Lib Libra. No, not Libra. Le not Leo. Uh, Virgo. You could be dealing with a Virgo. I'm sorry. <laughs> you could have those placements, Libra and Leo. <laughs> Anyway, you've gone through the di dark night of the soul. You've really reflected. You've really thought a lot of things. You've understood the things and the lessons that you needed to learn in the situation, all right? And now you're opening yourself up to new offers, all right? Even to the small offers, all right? Someone who has, gone, who has been noticing you is really wanting to, you know, take an... um take this opportunity to maybe ask you out on a date or 
ask you out for coffee, all right? So, yeah, after going through self-development, your dark night of the soul, your reflections, all right? Your self-reflections. After after shutting yourself out from the world, you're finally opening up and look there's an offer waiting for you it's nice it's really really nice all right you have the queen of pentacles to the high priestess this is something that you are releasing you need to let go of all right okay weird very weird very weird download all right very weird download okay I'm hearing you are releasing My gosh I'm hearing that you are releasing someone very selfish and shallow for some reason Someone very selfish and shallow All right someone very controlling actually anyway this is something that you've really asked your intuition so many times about if you are making that right decision of releasing this person um yeah you really made you, it really you really took a lot of serious thought in releasing this person all right anyway what is transforming to you what is emerging for you the king of swords well again um king queen male female not really gender specific it's the energy that we're looking at all right so the king of swords here to the five of cups all right uh, after a period of so much disappointment of so much sadness all right someone is going to come towards you planning to come towards you all right someone who has really planned to come towards you someone very mature stable smart could be from another i'm i was about to say planet <laughs> could be from another part of the world all right because the king of swords is someone is talks a lot about someone who is um at a distance all right but after so much disappointment and sadness someone is going to come towards you all right so that is all i have for you pisces and everyone i hope something in the reading resonated if it did please give this video a thumbs up i love you all thank you so much and stay blessed